Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. The footage you're about to see of this bar, I had said something in that in that clip that was not accurate. So I will put a caption on the screen and at the end of the video I'll tell the real story and what actually happened. So with that being said, on to the video and enjoy. Hey guys, Shaver1000 here. Thought I'd bring you to this old bar that we went to oh, about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. We was out driving around looking for place, a place to film and uh, we ran across this bar. Well, we ended up parking right over there. Let's see, we ended up parking right in there. And we came in this door and there was like a bunch of motorcycles around and um, she was like oh no I can't get that's not my kind of place it's rough and I said now honey these bikers are going to be cool and it was one of the best times we had and there that was the uh, the uh, oh what do you call it the little tiki bar so we came out the back doors here. I'll show you. We came, walked through the bar. We came out right here. And we sat down. They had a band playing. And we sat at this table right here. Right there. We sat here. And the band was playing. And uh, what was cool about this place was the docks. I have a couple docks here. And you, all, you got a long dock all the way out through there. And uh, you could just park your boat. And they would come out to you and bring your food or uh, your drinks or whatever you wanted. And this was the beer garden. place was really really nice that old windmill come on focus it's got cable wrapped around it and stuff so they use it used to charge batteries and stuff it used to be a working little This is cool here. The snake. Isn't that neat? It wraps around the tree. And there's his tail. That's made out of an old vine. Isn't it cool? And then over there, 
they had another little place that you could get drinks and sit over there so you didn't have to walk clear over here so you could sit there sit over in this area and also you could get drinks from this side as well Back here. Hey, babe. Hey, monkey. Nice setup you got there. Yeah, you set me up real good. Yeah, I made that. Yeah, you that did. That unipod. Yeah, yes. works real good. Yeah. Looking good. So this place was really cool. Monkey really liked this. Apparently, uh, from what we know, I was talking to a gentleman over here fishing said uh, that uh, it was a uh, grease fire. Sleepy Hollow. Like I said, you can get more drinks here. And over there. They had a big ass fire pit. Anyway, so here's the uh, the fire pit. I'll stand here next to it. So it's about three feet. So pretty cool. It was made out of a big tank, and someone cut it in half, like a big oil tank what it was made out of really yeah you can see over here on that side there yeah yeah that's cool isn't it pretty awesome guys oh yeah wow <laughs> that that fire pit is huge i don't know if the camera the camera won't do it justice but it's about four feet high the sides of it I had some video footage of this place and I don't think I uploaded it on YouTube and it was on the computer and I had to do a hard reset on the computer and I lost everything because I didn't have anything to back back up my files so you had that there and you can park your boat along here and like I said you could just pull right up and they would come right out to you Add another little fire thing here. And what they did, they would come and they would walk up here and the girls would go and... Uh, and we're at the back of the stage. So... Sleepy Hollow. Great food, live music, and cold beer. And this place was awesome. It was shut down. For several years, they shut it down. The owner or whatever got sick, and um, that was a looks like a gator that got burnt. But the owner got sick, and it shut shut down for many years. And uh, and then. It reopened well, and then it got vandalized, of course. And uh, so, what they didn't vandalize, well, what they didn't steal, they vandalized, they broke trying to steal it. And um, so, then it reopened, and it wasn't open real, real long. It wasn't too. Too long after that apparently they had the grease fire and uh, it burned down so we don't know the fate of this place yet if they're going to do anything with it or anything like that hopefully they do I hope they do anyway this was uh, made out of an old trailer you can see the you can see the tongue there so this used to be an old trailer that they they built into this so kind of cool 
and they also sold beer out of here. Harley soft tail sign. I remember that hanging up on the building. It got burnt. There's the ashtrays. Still got water in it from the ice. Hoping I'd find a menu or something. But cool. Just thought I'd share this with you. So I don't think I uploaded this on YouTube. Very, very cool. This guy's holding a fish. And uh, this was carved with a chainsaw. Look at that. Amazing. Very amazing. This was carved with a chainsaw as well. And like I said, I do believe it was a gator. If I remember right, I remember seeing it. And it got burnt. So, I mean, you can see the fire was so intense. There was another snake here. That's what's left of it. And uh, it was, this place was freaking awesome. Nice people, everybody was so nice. But when she seen all the motorcycles, I said, let's go and have a drink. She's like, no, no, no. Can't go in there. I said, then nobody will bother you. She said, yeah, it's your kind of place, not mine. I said, nobody will bother you. And they didn't, she couldn't believe how of course this is the freezer she can believe how nice the bikers were and um, we didn't spend a lot of money here because everybody was buying us drinks and, uh, right here on the water and you would you could put your boat in right here have their own little boat slip. Put your boat in there and you go boating, you come back, get you something to drink, get you something to eat. But yeah, this place was so freaking cool though, man. I can't, I can't believe it. Uh, Monkey had a patient down this way and she told me here a while back, said, hey, that bar we went to, out there in the middle of nowhere? I said, yeah, yeah, Sleepy Hollow. She says, it burned down. I was like, no way. And sure enough. They'll rebuild, I hope, anyway. I hope they will rebuild. Well, we was out, we was gonna take you to a, an abandoned Boy Scout camp. But you ain't allowed in there no more because they're getting ready to, they're supposed to be taking down the cabins and uh, look at that in there. They're supposed to be, turn the light on. They're supposed to be taking down the cabins and moving them. So hopefully that's what they'll do. Cool place. Very, very cool. But I know I've looked for the footage of this place before, and I don't think I ever found it. And I'm pretty sure I didn't YouTube it, and I don't know why. So, there you go, guys. 
burned out bar second bar I've done since I've been in Florida well second bar I've ever done period if you guys remember the other bar I did I think I had mentioned in it it was the first bar I ever did that old abandoned rundown one now here's this place so hopefully nobody comes in and starts you know tearing up the the stage and all because that stage is really really cool really cool and I hope they leave that alone but yeah this place was awesome we walked right through this door it was really really cool real nice in there too I mean the place was awesome had like a kind of like a nautical theme to it you know like in here I don't know what happened to these, but somebody probably stole them. They had wagon wheels hanging on the walls. And there's the high chairs for the kids. There's a barrel. A barrel full of monkeys. Monkeys always wanted a barrel like that. She wants me to get one and cut it in half. And uh, plant flowers in it. And there's the other one. So. Yeah, guys very very nice it was yeah we was here for a while and they just uh, people just would pull right up and like I said the bartenders would go out and get take their order and get their food and their drinks and they would eat so alright guys there's another one for you hope the wind didn't bother you too much but anyway so there's another bar well what's left of the bar but yeah it was apparently a very hot fire but no one was hurt uh, I don't know I th think it burnt when no one was here I can't remember but yeah pretty cool so there you go guys another one for you uh, Shea Bear, we're going to go try to find, maybe do a vlog uh, out the road here. There's a little preserve back in there, so we're thinking about maybe doing a vlog back in there. Uh, so, I got Monkey hooked up, as you've seen, on another camera. So, thought maybe that would help her, because I know it's helped me a lot, having this, this little tiny tripod, holding it like this, it helps to go a little more smoother now of course the camera I'm using right now is running 60 frames per second so at uh, 1080p so it does pretty good for just a cheap Sony the other one the one she's using is just one of them uh, I think I gave 90 bucks for it online and uh, Got some more information for you. I looked this up. We also talked to a uh, a couple that came in here to you know come to the place that they came here quite a bit, and uh, he was like, "What the fuck? What happened?" And so while we was doing that, one of the barmaids that used to work here, she worked here for like two years, uh, told the story, and I looked it up. And here I'll give you the. Uh, 
I'll read this to you. If, if you don't, I understand you can shut it off now, but I want to get my facts straight because I said somebody told me it was a grease fire, which it wasn't. Uh, what happened was, it was closed for two years. This place was built in 1957. It was closed for two years when the other uh, person bought it. And the person that bought it was actually a patron of this bar and ended up buying it for $350,000. Sunk several thousand more dollars into it, getting it back up and running. Uh, a real estate agent and Sleepy Hollow patron bought the property in 2016 for $350,000. $350, sunk another several thousand several hundred thousand dollars into it and reopened the bar to the delight of the community and the bikers who enjoyed the iconic atmosphere and it's the uh, with the Popka Isles it's near Floral City but it all came to an end uh, Tholand is the name of the owner I believe is how you pronounce that T-H-O-L-U-N-D if that's your name I'm sorry if I mispronounce it Tholand says temporarily on January 11th when fire destroyed the Sleepy Hollow Resort even as customers were enjoying drinks and karaoke they were open uh, Friday Saturday and Sunday so the place was I mean everybody was here and uh, she says she's going to rebuild and uh, uh, hopefully by the first of the year. Uh, no insurance, I think I said that. Uh, she blames what happened here. It says someone no one recognized who was in the bar that night with an unleashed dog that was bothering customers. That's who she blames this on because a bartender told him to leave, and that's the woman that was talking to us, asked him to leave. And says he charged at her, vowing to burn the place down. He says, well, you know, you got to go. Well, she, she asked him to take the dog out, and he did, and he come back and asked if he wanted to order something. He said, no, I ain't buying a fucking thing from here. I'm going to come back and burn this place down. A half hour later, this was at like 11.30 when he come back but it happened about 11, the incident. A half hour later, she said, fire broke out near the kitchen. The state fire marshal's office considers the fire, which started near a trash can, suspicious. So there was, they found accelerant and stuff like that. But again, it was, it, it was uh, once a fish camp. Over time, it became a popular hangout with food and outdoor live music. And, of course, you know, it's got some pictures here, which I, you know, we have done the, uh, well, you saw the video. So, she doesn't why, she doesn't know why the previous owners closed it down, but said it was gutted when Tholan bought it. Tholan said she put $500,000 into equipment and furnishings before opening in 2016. Uh, so, yeah, it's crazy. Um, after the fire, a friend set up a GoFundMe campaign to help raise money to rebuild, setting the ambitious goal of $500,000. The target has since been reduced to $300,000 and as of Friday has raised $370. So, um, yeah, it says right here that she said the bar was not insured. It's an old wooden building and you can't insure it. That sucks. She said the bar was insured during Hurricane Irma and she received a claim because of a 12 day power outage. So it's kind of like a, a business interruption insurance is what it would be. Uh, insurance premiums to protect against fire damage she said would have exceeded her $2,000 monthly mortgage. So that, that would have been just for the insurance. You don't make that kind of money in these places, she said. She was also marketing Sleepy Hollow online for sale. She said Friday she's taking it off the market because she wants to rebuild instead. So it was for sale and then now she wants to rebuild it. So 
It's, uh, she said customers from across the country have offered to help with fundraisers. The bar has one at 3 p.m. Saturday. Well, that's that's over with. This was back in February when this was was uh, posted. So, um, she wants it reopened by November. So that would be nice. And when, once it reopens. If it does, I hope it does. Once it reopens, we'll come back here and we'll do another video so you can see the place. <laughs> and when they was interviewing her, they interviewed her right here and took some pictures right here and it said 25 bikers rolled in there, you know, and she wants to keep the place alive. Uh, just the time that we were here, there's actually, like I said, a, a man and woman over here on their bikes. Uh, they're sitting over there in the shade relaxing and right before I came in here I can't be out in the middle of nowhere and I anyway uh, right before I came in here there was like five bikers pulled in to come and you know to the establishment and it uh, it's closed you know so hopefully it will reopen and uh, so that's the story on it so what I said earlier, hopefully you watch the end of this so you can get the true story. But what I said earlier, I will put a caption across the screen. That way you'll you'll know to watch till the end if you want to know the, the true story. So and uh, if I can find it again, I'll put a link in the description of this story. You can read about it if you're from the area or just interested in it. So again, uh, thanks for watching. Shea Bear 1000, I'm gone for now. And uh, bye-bye, guys. You take care now.